My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spy Modded. We're going to be continuing with the poker play. I don't know if I'm good enough to start doing Ascension anything yet. Just yet, at least. All right. Uh, random rare card. Yeah, let's take a random rare card and try and build around it. <laughs> Stack deck. We've seen that one before. Lit really in the last episode. All right. So. Hmm. I can get four upgrades this floor if I hit this line and only one elite, but that's really dull. Yeah, sometimes dull gets the job done. Two, three, four. I have a couple ones in this deck. I could have a straight. Hey, that's a straight. <laughs> Good fight. Hot shot can't. Exhaust all poker cards in hand. No. Maybe I go with a spade strike build. Yeah, all right. I'll have my deck just be full of fours, I think. Or sixes? I need to remove the ones before these are all really effective. Remove a poker card, receive a random clubs. That could be really good. Or a two, three, four, five, six of clubs. I'd be more keen for that if I hadn't already removed something. So I'm just going to remove a club. Uh, not a club, but a uh, spade. We get three of clubs. Okay. It's fine. We have a one, two, three of clubs. We have a two, two, two. So we have what? Four twos. Sorry, a one, four twos, three threes, two fours, a five. And another generation of a four available to me at this point. What the? Oh, Exordium Club. Okay. All right, I thought that must have said something else. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's possible we get a combo here as well. Well, no, but we did end up with another four, and that four ends up with a single pair in our hand. That'll do in terms of damage, though. Damn straight, that's not going to happen often. Raise, if we're upgraded, yes, but it's not, so no. Actually, maybe yes still, and then I upgrade it. So I'm trying to turn everything into fours, ideally, right? There's more threes in the deck than there are fours right now. Despite the fact that there are more ways to generate the four, though. I'll leave two threes on top of the deck, sure. Chop strike to get one of them, and then raise a three to get another. End up full healing my character and dealing a bit. And then we can even go for the polish off. Beautiful. Deck is very, very reliant on what we find in terms of the early cards is a big problem. So I think I'm actually going to dodge the path that I was intending on going on. Raise needs to be upgraded, but so does stack deck. Twos, threes, and a single four. Yeah, throw the four. So I took two damage that turn, but I got an extra card out in the stack deck. That could be pretty important for us. Uh, four at the top of the deck. Yeah, that's fine as well. Bad Joker is also fine at the top of the deck there. So we'll just throw these. I got a one. Is there a three left? There is exactly a three left in the deck. Beautiful. Oh, that's not going to find it. I draw one card. I already have a straight in hand, but now I have to break it. That's so tragic. All right. Uh, I guess we'll upgrade that and let's throw this. Really wish I had another five there. 
we'll have to do for the moment though. Yeah. I was hoping rank would be doing more fixing than breaking, but it's to rank what rank does, I guess. There's no five in there, but there is a four and an ability to upgrade a four. Or rather, a four as well as an ability to generate a four. So that one, definitely. Let's raise this here. Go for the Trump Strike. Again, and that'll do it. To all damage. Zerd Insect is really, really helpful here. Do I take another raise? Yeah, maybe I make this just a raise deck. Maybe that's what I do. I like constantly cut cards from the deck and then I add raises. Dream catch one of your resting matter to your deck. All right. Yeah, now I got four of a kind. It's pretty good. I mean, the four of a kind is not really going to do that much, but I have it. This is why waste collection multiplying the showdown effects of the cards that it affected was so important because otherwise like, oh, I guess I have that, sure, but it's not doing anything for me, so why do I care? I mean, I could draw a five right now, which would be dope as hell. Well, at least I ended up with more block after that. Five, seven, sixteen. No, I need to block the incoming damage a bit more. Fine. <clears throat> that full block is good enough. Discard any of those? Yeah, discard both of those. Pretty bad. So now I think I'll be looking for another raise. Yeah, there we go. Raising to make pairs, I guess. Not really at all how I thought this was going to go down, but... Fine, if this is the way the deck is going to take me, this is the way the deck is going to take me. <clears throat> Five of clubs is pretty good, though. Feels like I really shouldn't turn that down. Get some more AoE in the deck as well. Especially before the next four seems important. Hey, that's a four! straight. Do I have enough clubs in this deck? I, I, there's an idea of going for a clubs club deck, but I only have four clubs in the deck. And I have a spade strike that develops non-club. Yeah, I can't do that. Or at least I can't justify it. Dark Stone Periapt, we constantly get that as this character, but we can't take curses as this character. This is why the series on this character is not going to be particularly long, uh, in my mind at least. Because there's a lot of things this character just cannot do. Uh, I guess I could get another 5 to rectify this. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, there's a lot of this, uh, a lot of things, like a lot of elements of the base game, because this character plays so dissimilar to any other character, uh, there's a lot of elements of the game that this character just seems not to be able to interact with. And those are, you know, nice to take an occasional break from, but they are pretty fundamental. I think it might be this and maybe a couple more, but we'll see. All right. It's a good little bit of a heal at the end there. Molten egg, sure. Yeah, you know what? Comes upgraded. Now I'll take club club. No clue what this deck is or what it is even trying to be, frankly. Wow, 
Well, I'm here too. Damn. Pretty close, but alas, cigarless. That's how it's said, right? Uh, just go on that, I guess. Bad joker to see if I get a club, and I do. Hell of a lot of clubs right there. Diamond strike. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I was looking for, right? Add a six of diamonds with ethereal into your hand, but... Uh, spade strike adds a six of spades with a zero into your hand, and then my whole thing is I just play those, and all of them generate sixes, and ah, oh, right? This is pre-upgraded, though. That's a little bit of a problem. But all of the strikes are going to be upgraded, so that's actually good, right? So I'm going to take diamond strike. So, like, my sub-theming is these diamond spade, heart, and etc. strikes. But those give me fives as well occasionally. That's a bit of a problem. We'll drop steroid potion for par potion. If we go now for the upgrade on the Spade Strike. So I can use these sixes to cap off strikes. Uh, cap off straights, rather. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to mulligan the entire hand. I'm trying to get to... Three? Four... Four, three, oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm trying to one, uh, damn it. I'm trying to get to stack deck as soon as possible. That was not what I was trying to play. Uh, no two, damn it. Skill potion, give me something worthwhile. Fine. That's pretty worthwhile. It's not going to heal me at all. Uh, it's not going to block for me at all either, but it was pretty worthwhile. It worked out pretty well. Discard that. I have enough threes. I don't need it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty good turn. Yeah. I do like the idea of running a build that is intentionally just trying to build exclusively straights and nothing but, but... I am a little worried about how effective it's going to be. Alright, I'm going to make this a two pair now. Just because it seemed the best that I could do at the time. Three and a three left there. Fine. Raise that three. And then I'm going to raise this three. And I'm going to generate a not four. Damn it. <laughs> oh, look at that club of clubs. Ooh. Fake symbols. If you score a fl uh, you score a flush if you have four or more poker cards with the same suit doing showdown. And then a seven of a couple different suits. Uh, a seven of a suit is pretty good for us right now. Helps play into our straights. So I think I'll take the defensive one. I mean, I can gain 18 max HP right now, but then I have three curses in the deck and I immediately lose. So. Uh, I think I'll just remove two cards from the deck. <clears throat> as much as I want to remove the one of clubs, it's like clubs, clubs. Kind of related right now. Still think I probably need to get rid of it, right? Also get rid of the two of hearts there. I'm, I'm kind of relying on these raises to make good hands. 
not entirely sure if that's at all wise. In fact, I'm certain it isn't. So half of the effect when I'm using like Diamond Strike and stuff like that, half of the effect of that card is front loaded. So I should be considering that, right? Like I'm dealing 11 damage right now and then it has this effect later as well. If I don't think about it like that, I can get really grumpy about how ineffective all my cards are being. Four of the kind is pretty good. And that's the end of the Gungeon scene. Let's go back to Slay the Spire modded. Beautiful. Accidentally clicked off the screen. Let me constrain the mouse. Beauty. And club the kill. I don't have any extra energy in this deck, so Overdeal looks a lot worse to me right now than it otherwise could be. Four of diamonds. Got three. Uh, five, a five. Six and a... Sorry, a six and a six. I've got a seven. Three, 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 two, two, two. Okay, so I want one more four, and one more five, and one more six, and a couple more sevens. Yeah, all right. I'll commit to that. Purple bonfire. Okay, uh, it, I think I may actually give away stack deck right now. So the primary reason I'm giving away stack deck is it's unupgraded, so I haven't invested that much into it, and it gives me 10 max HP, which is a lot for a character that does not start with much. Two, three, X, five, six. Uh, club's club is real good there. Oh, there's a seven. Just missing a four. There's a five. Six or two. I mean, there's a possibility of getting a six left in here. It's not super likely. Either. No. Huh? Six? No. That's a one. That's another straight. That'll do. If I can find damn straight for this deck, you know I'm going to do it. Club strike. A seven. What? I thought the whole point of these was they all added the... So this adds a seven. What if it was unupgraded? Can I, I can't even see the unupgraded version. Cloak and diamond. So this is four and seven on the upgrade. So it's sixes and sevens. Great. Ugh. God damn it. I really wanted for it to not to be that. Oh, well, at least these feel like they're my two pseudo sevens. So instead of going for a build that stacks on sixes, right, I am going for a build that generates straights, but it uses these as pseudo sevens. So I need, so I've got what? What is my deck, right? It's a two, a two, a two, a three, a three, a three, a four, a four, a four, a five, a five, one, six, sorry, two sixes. And then three sevens when Cloak and Dagger is upgraded. So I need another... Another six and another five. One more six and one more five. I have a great amount of max HP right now, so I have to decide what a mulligan... Uh, I do actually want to cut something from my deck every available opportunity. I suspect Trump Strike might be one of them. It's a card between me and the cards that deal what I actually am trying to do. Really wish that drew a six. Damn. Great that's so I get through the pair, but 
Yeah, so... <laughs> the idea of this deck pivoted back and forth so many times that now the deck doesn't do anything well. It's tragic, but it's something I've seen innumerable times in terms of me making this mistake. Not only with this character as well. No, no, no. I have uh, made this mistake with many, many characters. And continue to make it in the base game as well. Fine. Steal as much damage as I can that turn. Try and get ahead of the curve. Oh, twos and fives. We'll take the four and then throw the four looking for a two or a five. That's not going to be a two or a five. Um... Ah, I got a four. Big downgrade. Damn. Damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's a six. So I've got a four, five, uh, four, six. I've got a three now. Club's club does nothing for me. So this raise can... I can raise the four, and then I can raise the three. If only I did that in the other order. So no pairs. I was obviously going for a straight flush there, but I don't know why I was going for a straight flush because if I did, I would have just defended really well. Yay. Uh, nine of diamonds. Nine of spades. I think I have to take a nine of spades here. Ooh, four of a kind though. Now that's where you get some damage. Let's raise that. Mulligan this one. And then just murder the enemy. That seems good too. Fossilized Seelix. From the first time you lose HP each combat. Another spade strike. Don't know if I need that. But the seven of diamonds. That's another seven. Now that one we definitely need. Another raise. No. Heart strike. At a five of hearts in your hand. Okay, so it's a five when it's the hearts. Damn it. I thought they were... I thought... I thought it was... So definitely going to be all of them were, uh, all of them were the same. Or all of them were different. So as soon as I had two that were the same in Diamond Strike and, uh, Spade Strike. Although even then, this one just deals nine damage and gives six block. This deals 11 damage and deals six block to a, uh, six damage to the lowest HP target. So they are all a little off kilter with one another, I guess. Whenever you play a card containing club, your clubs deal one more damage until the end of combat. That is ridiculous. I would love to have that. Can't have it though. A heart strike is an extra five to the deck. I only have two fives in here. Yeah. So spade strike gets me my six, and then I have a couple fours in hand, but I can have I can have three fours in hand. Ooh, that five is really powerful right now. So 12 block plus the six block that I currently have actually doesn't do that much because the so the 12 block from the showdown will block the slaver. Then the six block that I currently have will not block entirely the taskmaster. One damage gets through, removes my buffer, and then I take 13 damage. So I can throw the six, I think. Never mind. As long as I ended up with something useful, I could throw the six. So that's where I made my mistake thinking that I could possibly end up with something useful here. I 
That'll do it. Three of a kind, kills them all. On scales through to spade strike again. I don't think I need another one of those. Bottled poker. Pump pick up, choose three poker cards. Start each combo that in the opening hand. Um, they're only poker cards as well, so. I think I just choose, like. I don't know. I think I should probably choose a straight setup. So a natural two, a natural three. And then a, a natural five. So a natural two. We'll make the three the spade, the five the clubs, and the two the diamond. Those should pair up in the most ways to give us the hands that we're looking for. Wait, Cloak and Diamond becomes seven? I was not expecting that. I thought it was definitely going to become another six. That's why I took it. Although I could have seen its upgrade in the shop. I'm, I'm just really confused about those cards a lot of the time here, clearly. There's a four, and this gives us a six. Yes, yeah, so that's our... This is exactly how we wanted it to go, right? Ideally. And it did it. Four, five, seven, six. So if I can, I can play all of these actually. Neat. Now I need to draw two off of the rays as well, by the way. Yeah, that's not going to work. Fine. Um, so we'll... Manually. Go for a single pair only. Unfortunately, it has to do. So most of what we're doing here is just trying to set ourselves up for straights. Not only in the fights, but also in the deck building. And it's... I'll admit, I'm having a little bit of difficulty conceptualizing it fully. I'm not above admitting that. This is what I was thinking. Like, I'd play a bunch of them and they'd all generate sevens. Then I'd have a whole handful of sevens and it'd be all good. Sadly, that's not how it's worked out. That said, having the spread of cards that I currently do have has allowed me to do a ridiculous amount of things. Mm -hmm. Including kill that Snecker. Magic trick. Draw until you have eight cards in hand. Draw, uh, discard three cards. That's now appealing. If I had to upgrade it, which I would have had to if I took it in the previous space, I'm not super into it, but without having to upgrade it, it's fine. Um, I'll remove Mulligan just because I... <sighs> Mulligan or Bad Joker? Bad Joker gives us more opportunity, I think. No, because we're strapped on mana, Mulligan gives us more opportunities. I'm going to risk this. No, I can't. I can't risk it. Not with this character. Right. Here's the moment of truth. Can we actually get through a bronze automaton? Two, three, five, six, seven. So if I upgrade the three, I can mulligan the two. Found it. No, I can mulligan the... Two looking for a three. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> I knew I was going to nail it. It's just a moment off. Wee bit of a delay in the nailing there. Okay. I'll heart strike, then raise the heart. Give me a six. And this is a seven. Beautiful. That's another straight. We're doing real well. Like, very surprisingly. I'm 
All right, I'll magic trick first, I think, yeah. So can I make a full... The, the raises are a problem, right? Because a lot of things like mulligan and magic trick are going to cause you to discard down to a hand of five. And if you include a raise in that in order to be like, oh, this is going to fix one of the ranks that I have in my hand, then you have to draw into an unknown card at the top of your deck. So without Frozen Eye, this becomes a little difficult to plan around. So I think raise is the worst part of this deck by now, uh, right now by far. I think I may actually want to consider removing both of them, despite the fact that I picked both of them up specifically and upgraded each of them. I think the deck might run better without. So I've got a two. I don't have a three. Okay, so I can't not have a two or a three because then I can't build a combo. So I can keep a four, a five. All right, let's keep a four, five, five, and then seven. There we go. And then we go for the raise and we drew a three. Beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. Again, this build is like working right now, but I think that's for long. Just gonna use that to draw a card. This is a three. Do I have a five in the deck? I don't have a five available in the deck, so I think I just make a two pair here. It'll have to do for the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if the enemy just like single hit kill me with the, the giant attack they're going to be doing in a couple turns. I say a couple turns. I mean next turn. That is a good hand though. The raises being able to fix things to be seven. I gotta admit, I am impressed. Fourth, um... I raise first thing. Uh, dang. What's left in the deck? Two, three, four, four, five, six. So four is the easiest thing to get left in the deck. Wow, we got another raise. That sucks. So four is the easiest thing left to get in the deck, but the rest of them, it doesn't matter, right? So... Uh, it's just we can't get rid of the... S no, we can get rid of literally any of this. Fine. Two, three, six. Okay, so I can throw the two looking for a four right now. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected was going to happen, to be entirely honest with you. Oh, hang on. I have a flush now. That's lethal. Hell yeah. Woo! Uh, variety deal four damage to all enemies. Damage is doubled for each unique suit of poker cards in your hand. There's also a seven of hearts here. That's it. We have a seven, a seven, a seven, and a seven. We clearly have enough of those. We could take an eight of diamonds, start going for more impactful straights. I'll do it. Rank one post uh, poker cards cost zero and give you two block when played. We have no rank ones left in this deck. So I think we just take Philo Stone for the extra energy. More energy means more cycles, means more possibility of getting back to a straight. I'm actually going to take the super safe path on the left. It's got an early shop and then it has one elite and three rests thereafter. Just in case that elite really kicks the ever-loving hell out of me. Which it probably will. If only this gave me a four, I'd be way more into it. Oh, well. No pairs, so we just deal random damage. Yay. Well, not random, it's directed, but still.
That'll have to do. Because a full house is really powerful, so it really will have to do. Chance, magic, no. Seven of clubs, no. Two of hearts, no. Card removal? I've got three twos, three threes, three fours, three fives, if you include the heart strike. Four sevens and an eight. So if anything, I'm removing a seven here and it'd be a seven of diamonds, definitely. Alright, so I'm removing it not for the impact it has in the deck, but for the impact that it would have in the hands that we can generate. It's, it's weird. Uh, upgrade all cards you can only heal. Well, upgrading all cards we can only heal here just moves all of our cards up by one rank. That's pretty good. Especially when we're mainly trying to make strike. No, it's not! Oh! All right, I have three threes. I have three fours. I have four fives, if you include the heart strike. And then I have two sixes. Three sixes. Oh, four sixes. Two sevens, an eight, and a nine. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Still a decent spread. Uh, here we're probably going for pairs, though. I don't know. I mean, a pair and a three of a kind. I'd say those are pairs. In a strange way, sure, but pairs nonetheless. Yeah, it's not po it's not impossible. This works out for us. There's the eight. So we can throw the four. Ah, that's not going to work. All right. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, it still doesn't work. <laughs> it only got worse at the end there. Yeah, I'm not really counting here. I'm just going to let this one murder the enemy. Another magic trick. Magic trick has turned out to be like, mm, fine. Three, four, four, six, six. Right, so we're throwing threes. Fine. Dang, we don't really get to do much damage here, but... Oh. Diamond Strike is a 6, and that's a 7. So we have a 6 and a 7 available to us. It's a 5. Can we do anything with that? 5 into a 6. No. Um... I mean, I can just upgrade the four and then go for a three of a kind. Let's throw the seven looking for more defense. And just, you know, straight up downgrade my hand. Smash. I'm going to mulligan for club's club's sake. I'm going to magic trick for club's club's sake. that didn't work as well as I really thought it was definitely going to. <laughs> and we took pretty much as much damage as I thought we were going to take in response there. We 
don't have enough defense in this deck to just waddle around and wait. Big problem I'm having right now. That's our straight. Unfortunately, I can't heal, so we're not getting any of that back. Spade strike. Do we need another six at this point? Six, 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 six. No, we don't. Hidden card. I mean, there are some high ranks to pull back, and we do need something that can just suddenly generate us block. Three, four, five, six. Let's throw this four. Oh, no, wait. You are attacking this turn. Well, I'm glad that that all worked out. Obviously, I planned it. I, for some reason, I didn't see the symbol above the enemy's head, and I was like, oh, that's a debuff symbol. It must be. Uh, yes, uh, we'll do this. Damn it. That's a six. That's a six. Like, I can get a bunch of sixes back, but I was hoping that I would draw, like, a five or something there. Oh, well. Thank you for the buffer. Saving me there. Four, five, six, seven, no, seven, nine. That's bad. Can't do seven, nine. That's fine. I'll mulligan the nine because then I could get an eight or a three. Still for full straight. Girya, you can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum. That's not going to work for me. Uh, poor copy. Choose one, draw a card, or add a poker card from your hand. Copy a poker card from your hand and reduce the rank of the copy by one. We don't have that many things that are high cost. This seems like it'd be useful in making straight, so I will take it, but it's janky as hell. I'm going to raise the rank of the club. I'm going to play it and pull it back. The entire idea here was just trying to generate some defense for myself. Heart oh, Strike gives me a five, so four. Oh, damn it. It's not ideally what I wanted there. Also, all of them bellowed on turn one, which is absolutely terrifying. Magic trick, seeing if I can find anything here. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. There's another five left in the deck. I think I'm going to try and mull for it and see if I can win. Yeah, I'm not winning this turn. So I think I'm actually just going to smoke bomb out of here. The entire time I was like, okay, can I even win this turn? No. Yeah, I, I'm, I know that I have the smoke bomb ready to get out of here. I definitely don't lift because we have no way to benefit from it whatsoever. So again, right? Three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 six, 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 eight. But there's, wait, hang on. Seven, seven, single eight. single nine. I'd rest if I could, but I can't. No longer heal from the Mark of the Bloom. I think I move all grades up by one. Except for the six. So I move that up by one and then I, in the next space, stuff pocket. You receive the showdown effects from all poker cards in your hand instead of maximum five cards. Uh, we need to find ways to draw more.
If only this gave me a seven, damn it. Oh, this one does. I love that they said it for me. Uh, sharpen, you know. Alright, I mean, maybe we actually make it out of this, for real, yo. Uh, three, three, four, 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 five, 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 five. So we do want to upgrade one of the fives, I think. Mm -hmm. Potion belt, upon pick up game two potion slots. Unlikely to be relevant, but I'm definitely not going for the heart because I can't even heal in between the floors, so. Four, five, six. Something, something, nine. Yeah, we're not getting to nine. Oh, wait, we do have Teresa's base, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. No. So if I'm using four, I don't go for the nine, so I drop the nine. Unless I go for like, uh, like four sixes here. I can do that. Yeah, we can do that pretty happily. Drew more AoE, that's totally good for me. Diamond Strike, we don't need another. Uh, that said, damn straight, straight bonus is doubled. Extremely important. Extremely important, relevant to us. All right, I'm going to throw the clubs just so that I can bring it back with Hidden Card later. Three, four, five, six... No way to generate a seven. No way currently shown, at least. But that's a six, that's a six, that's a six. And I can't bring back a six with the hidden card because I just threw it. Damn. Could have had four of a kind, dang it. Raise the quality of that. Five out. Let's get another seven. We don't have enough of those, I don't think. So I'm looking for a six right now. Most of those are in the deck. Oh, I can make a poor copy of a seven. Getting myself a six. Go for the straight. And this one even still full defends me. I'm gonna throw the nine. I think it's way easier for me to hit a whole build without it. That said, said I'm not even gonna be doing that. So I only lose my buffer this turn. One. Okay. So three, four, six, seven. Oh, this one's an unfortunate hand. Hang on. Four, five. Six, ah, uh, damn it. Again, not useful. Very close to useful, though. The fact that I have a mana cost before I actually get those strikes in my hand is also a problem. Right? It's not working out as ele elegantly as I suspected it was going to. Four, five, six, seven. So I have to throw the nine. Looking for an eight, please. Oh, you couldn't have gotten me an eight? Oh, you absolute. That's so annoying. Yeah, we're probably just dead here anyway. 
I just wanted an eight. That was one of the eternal problems of that deck, though, right? We didn't actually have that many eights available to us at any time there. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay This by Modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.